Hello class, so for today, I'm going to give you um, a quick demo of uh, various um, sampling techniques in infrared spectroscopy. So let's start. For our experiment, we'll be using um, salt plates, specifically potassium bromide um, window to hold your sample. So um, this is an example, I will, uh, I will show you an example of potassium bromide salt plate, um, but this one is uh, not a good one because this one is chipped already. So, um, though the good thing about this uh, plate is it's transparent, a little bit, uh, a bit clear. No? So this is another um, form of the plate, but it's a little bit uh, cloudy na. No? So not, it's not a good uh, plate to use, but the thing is, uh, wala tayong bago kasing KBR plate, so we are going to use this. Now this one is an example of a cloudy plate na talagang hindi na pwedeng gamitin. So, um, as you can see, no, malaki naman talaga yung difference nila. Okay, so this is also cheap. So the next uh, KBR plate is a drilled KBR plate, so which is specifically used for liquid sample. Drilled because may butas siya. So this one is an example of defective KBR plate. Kung nakita nyo, masyado na siyang manipis and malaki din yung butas. I'm sure, siguro ito before hinugasan ng water, no? kaya nagkaganito. So remember that your KBR plate is soluble in water and you must uh, use organic solvent to clean this. Also, don't hold your KBR plate in this manner. No, dyan. Huwag natin nahawakan dyan. Dito lang sa side. So we use, or we um, hold them here. So for liquid sample, we need a demountable um, liquid cell which contains a uh, standard slide mount this one and its end cup this one and we also need what we call the um, needle plate so we'll discuss later saan ilalagay ito of course we need gaskets we also need um, your plain KBR plate and the drilled one because we are going to prepare liquid sample uh, we also need a spacer okay and of course we need your syringe to uh, inject the liquid sample later okay uh, we also need what you call the um, nylon cups and stoppers. Ito yun. Okay. So the first thing to do is to um, place your slide mount cell holder flat on top of the table. And then we have to position one um, gasket at the bottom of the well. So let's just use this gasket, a very thin one. So this part. Okay. Uh, over here. Yep, and then uh, we need to place the first IR window, which is the plain one, not the drilled one, on top of that. Okay, and then um, place the pathland spacer. Yung sinabi ko kaninang spacer. So we need a spacer, this one, on top of that plane. Okay, and then um, we need to insert the cups or this part. Then we need to position this um, second KBR plate, which is the drilled one, on top of this uh, existing assembly. Okay, now the thing here is that we need to guide, because we need to put this gasket on top of it. Okay, so we need to, first the technique is um, to uh, insert, before inserting it here, insert this part here first. Okay, and you will see that it will be extended at the bottom. So do the same thing for the second one. Okay, and notice that this protruding um, metal here will determine the orientation on top of this uh, cell holder component. There, something like that, like that. Okay, but before doing that, we have to insert first this gasket. So you have to make sure that it's uh, inserting at that hole, okay, and the other hole. All right, okay, and then fill it on the top, okay. Next is um, we have to um, place this uh, end cup on top of this, but of course before we can do that, we have to remove this stopper. So the, the main reason for you placing the stopper first is to guide your cell first so let's remove this remove okay so so that we can put the cover yep so the last thing is to uh, screw on the end cap tight okay and of course the last thing is to inject your 
liquid sample using the syringe. So imagine that you have already your liquid sample, you will inject it here. Okay. So once you inject it, oops, sorry. Inject, okay, your liquid sample, and that's it. But usually you make sure that the liquid will go, or you will see the liquid injected over here so that you are sure that it's uh, uh, filled up. Okay? And that's it. That's for your liquid sample. Uh, the next that we are going to discuss is how to construct your uh, gas cell assembly. So this is a uh, Pyrex cell for gas. So because uh, if you notice, the path cell for um, gas is relatively long. This is around 5 to 10 centimeter because gases show relatively weak absorbance. So we also have here um, gas cell ports where you inject your gas. Okay. And then we also have, of course, your uh, gas cell window. This too. This one is relatively uh, cloudy na rin, pero we're still using it. Um, kasi hindi pa dumadating yung request naming bagong IR. And then uh, we also have your two end cups. Okay, for this part. And the other one is over here. Okay, we also have, lastly, we have your uh, Vuitton O-rings. Hindi siya Louis Vuitton. Vuitton O-rings. Okay, so let's start. So you have to first position your um, end cup flat. Okay, so this is your end cup flat on the table. And then you have to place one Vuitton um, O-ring at the bottom of uh, the end cup. So like that. Okay, put it in place. And then afterwards, you have to position your IR window uh, on top of that O-ring. So this is uh, medyo challenging. Ayan. So kailangan nasa gitna. Put it in the middle. Okay. And then uh, place the second O-ring on top of it. There. So this is just to ensure or protect your plate para hindi siya mabasag when you screw this up. So screw this, uh, screw this up. When you screw this <laughs> um, cell body over here. So, you have to insert it and turn it until the threads engage. So, be careful kasi baka mamaya matumba. So, rotate lang. Rotate ulit. Okay, ayan. Now, you can rotate. So, you will see, ayun. So, hanggat hindi nyo na um, marorotate siya kasi baka mabasag yung gas cell. And then, we have to lift it and repeat the same thing naman over the other side, over here. So, do, do the same procedure. So, put your Vuitton O-ring, okay, and then your gas cell, okay. Yeah, this is a little bit challenging. And the Vuitton ring on top again. Oops. Yeah, make sure it's in the middle and do the same thing. Screw tightly, okay, until the threads engage. And then after that, we have to position the gas cell on the spectrometer slide mount. So I will show you how to um, uh, prepare the slide mount. So you need to assemble this slide mount for gas. So you have to insert the screw and then this part. Oh, sorry. Hindi nyo pala nakita. So ulit. So insert this screw over here and then this tube and do the same thing for the other one so insert the screw over here okay and then all right screw the same thing so this will be the one that you have to uh, insert in your instrument okay and then you have to um, position so once you uh, finish um, assembling your holder rods, so you have to slide this over your instrument and then put this on top. Of course, don't forget to inject your sample first. And then that's it. You can now analyze your gas. Okay, the next that I'm going to show you is the cell holder components for gas, uh, sorry, for solid sample. Okay, so these are, the comp these are the components for the solid sample. So first you have your slide mount. So same like as your liquid sample, um, but you need this self-locking barrel to place on top of this. So you, how do you uh, place it on top? You just push it. Okay, but be very careful uh, in doing that because uh, when you have already the 
the, the window inside, no? Pag sobra yung force, baka mabasag. Okay, so ha, what is the assembly? Actually, more or less, uh, it, it's the same for your, uh, your liquid sample. So first, you have to place your um, uh, spacer, or in this case, um, Teflon O-ring. So sa bottom, same as kanina. Okay. All right. And then, place the first IR window on top of your gasket. So, in this case, ito. Yan. So, nagay natin sa top. Okay. Oops. Okay. Wait. Let's uh, arrange this part kasi... Alright. So, let's repeat. Place it on top. And then, place your IR window over here. And then, the next one is to place the path length spacer on uh, the O-ring. Okay. Um, okay, put the spacer over here. And then, position the second window on top of that spacer. So, since uh, basag na lahat ng mga windows na available, no, um, ito na lang actually yung malinaw. The rest na kasi cloudy. Because to tell you honestly, since 2016 pa ako nagre-request sa PPMP, uh, pero hanggang ngayon, wala. Hindi pa rin siya dumadating. And it's 2019. O, di ba? Wala pa rin. So, Usually, I put that over here. And then, um, we have to put um, another O-ring on top. Okay? And then, your self-locking barrel. So, be careful in terms of pushing it. Kasi baka nga mabasag. Okay. So, this is just enough. Actually, um, when you put, usually, ang pinapagawa ko dahil um, masyado na nga cloudy yung mga cells natin, isa lang yung nilalagay ko. And nag-work naman siya. So, usually, ito lang yung ginagamit ko dahil ito yung mas malinaw. So, I put your sample on top and then saka ko siya nilalagay. Um, I don't usually use this na because masyado na siyang malabo. And it's working naman kahit ito lang. No? Kasi kailangan transparent or clear. So, yan. Ganyan lang siya. Pero nag-work naman siya. Okay. Then, you place your sample over here. So, if the sample is um, um, paste or in the form of thin plate, uh, thin film, so it will still work. Okay, so that's it for your solid sample. Lastly, since you need uniform, uh, to, you need your solid sample to be uniform, so you will use this very cute mortar and pestle over here. So you put usually a pinch of the sample, sol solid sample, and then you make sure that you're gonna turn the sample, the powder, into a uniform mixture. No, so it depends on uh, what type. If it's a mull or a paste, so you use noodle, okay, to turn the sample into a paste consistency. So just be very careful with this because this one is um, very expensive. And it's, um, if you notice, um, shipped off na rin tong part na to, no? Nabasag kasi, hindi ko alam kung saang batch siya nabasag, pero ayan, fragile din kasi itong material na to. So that's it. So I guess you're ready to uh, perform this experiment. See you next meeting.